When using possessive pronouns in Spanish, the first thing we need to know is that they always agree in number and in gender with whatever it is we're talking about. All right, well, what are the possessive pronouns? Well, the first one is el mio. And I'm going to go ahead and write out all the forms of this first one, but then not for the rest of them, because you can see how they follow the pattern. So here we have mine, 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 mine. And again, they have to agree in number and gender, and that's why we have masculine singular, feminine singular, masculine plural, feminine plural. So in the same way with el tuyo, we would have la tuya, los tuyos, las tuyas. So el tuyo means yours, el suyo means yours formal, and it also means his or hers, el nuestro. And again, both of these go all the way through to all the rest of the forms, el vuestro, and el suyo. Okay, well, how do we use these? I have a couple pictures that I drew over here, and I'm sorry, guys, I am not the next Pablo Picasso. Well, maybe I am. I'm not the next Rembrandt. These drawings are not that good. But this first one that I have over here, do we know what that is? That's a BC plate, though. And that is feminine and singular. All right, and over here, what do we have? Well, we have some books, masculine and plural. And then over here, we have the car that I drive, so we will go with carro, which is masculine and singular. Okay, so we could say something like, my bike is cool, but yours is better. So the place that we have our possessive pronoun is right here. And what is the yours that we're talking about? Well, we're referring to the bike. So in Spanish, what would this look like? Well, we would have but yours. And so what is the yours we're talking about? Bike. So we're going to come over here. And which one of these are we going to need? Well, we're talking about bicicleta, which is feminine, and singular. So there you go. My bike is cool, but yours is better. OK. Well, let's look at another example. Let's go ahead and erase this car. I kind of ran out a little bit of room. Your books are boring. And mine are interesting. Almost got it. All right, so our possessive pronoun that we're going to use is mine. So what we would want to say is your books and mine. So we're referring to the books and we know that they are masculine and we know that they are plural. So there you go. We use the possessive pronoun when we want to avoid repetition because we could have said
tus libros son aburridos and instead of saying mine are interesting we could have said my books are interesting but we don't want to go back and say my books every time and that's the reason we want to use this one final thing to take into consideration if you've noticed el suyo and el suyo have the same form yours so that could be a group of people or theirs or his is when we're looking at el suyo la suya los suyos las suyas because this can mean his, hers, yours, when we're talking the usted form, theirs, and yours, when we are in the ustedes form. And so, to clarify this, sometimes it's not the best to use this one, and we need to change it up a little bit. So let's look at this example up here. My bicycle is expensive, but... And then here's where we run into a little bit of trouble, is really expensive. So this could be, but his, but hers, but yours. And so sometimes this isn't the best choice. So if I was standing there talking to you and we were pointing at two bicycles, you wouldn't have any confusion because you would know I was talking about his or theirs. But if you just have this written, another thing that you can say instead of la suya is la, and again we have the la because we're referring to la bicicleta, de el, and then put the rest down in here. So we would replace la suya with la de el, la de ellos. So when you're using el suyo, la suya, los suyos y las suyas, that's fine, but if it's ever confusing, you can take that out and use this one over here. All right, possessive pronouns. We remember that they always have to agree in number and gender. I wrote out the first four, all four forms for this first one, and then the rest of these follow the same pattern. All right, go out, try a few on your own. Let me know how it goes. Suerte.